Hey you, yeah, you, right there, looking at the screen. Do you spend your free time making masterpieces? Or maybe you're the type of person who can turn everyday moments into the most exciting ones. Or maybe you're a whiz with numbers and can solve any problem that's thrown at you. Or maybe you want to learn more about the environmental science in this beautiful place we live in. If you answered yes to any of these questions, or even if you answered no, then the Hudson Valley Data Jam is for you. Data Jam is a creative science competition where students work with a set of ecological data collected in the Hudson Valley. This data is then interpreted and presented by you into a form of art such as poetry or music. Or maybe you'd rather make a drawing or a painting. If visual art isn't really your thing, then how about making a movie, animation, or even a video game? Are you ready to start making your own Data Jam project? Here's some steps and tips on how to get started and be successful at this year's Data Jam. Uh, oh, I uh, didn't see you there. It's me, Roswell. You know, the uh, narration guy from the first part of this video. I'm here to guide you through some basic steps on how to make your own successful Data Jam project. This may not seem exciting to you at first glance, but actually analyzing data is an opportunity to use your imagination and create a story. These students went to the Cary Institute website and found a data set that interested them. Then, they analyzed the data, looking for trends that could eventually become a story. They did this by identifying variables, organizing the data into a graph or other visual tool, and then drawing conclusions based on their findings. Some graphs and tools you should consider using are line graphs, bar graphs, pie charts, or even scatter plots. The data that we had received was about fish and where they are found in the Hudson River compared to the salinity levels. We really just had to look at the data sets uh, many times and we made different graphs of different ways to show correlations. And when we found a really strong correlation between uh, salinity levels and uh, species of fish, that's what we decided to go with. Uh, the most difficult part about coming up with the story was getting accuracy with data. Because at first we only had the data of the fish, we didn't really have the salinity levels. So then when we got the salinity levels, we were able to come up with a better story. You know, we had a lot of rambling ideas and it was kind of hard to find that concrete structure that we wanted that represented the data well and stayed true just to the science and what we had. Slow down there. Before you move on, make sure you don't get too carried away with the story. While being creative, your project should accurately represent the data set you used. But what about the volcano sharks? Stick to the facts, kid. We used the data in our story to see what happens when a fish that doesn't need a lot of salinity is in a high salinity situation and fish who need high salinity in a low salinity situation. Certain types of fish can survive in lower salinity levels and certain types of fish cannot survive in lower salinity. Remember, as you go through the process, check the rubric to make sure you're on course to complete your project and plan a work schedule in advance so that you use your time efficiently and can submit your project by the due date. To recap, step one, pick a data set at the Cary Institute website and analyze your data. Step two, define your variables, aka your characters, and use graphs and analysis to draw conclusions and find a story within your data. Bring your data story to life by making a creative art project. Make sure to stick to the science so that your story correlates to the data set. Follow the rubric to make sure your project meets all the requirements of the Hudson Valley Data Jam. Step five, manage your time wisely so you can complete your project and submit it before the deadline. And finally, step six, submit your completed Data Jam project to the Cary Institute website. You could be a winner. Also encourage you to present your amazing projects at the Data Jam Awards ceremony. So dive into that data. Get creative. And most of all, have, have fun. fun.